There are three types of mixer splitters available. Mixers, splitters, and a combined mixer splitter. The mixer block combines an unlimited number of process streams into a single outlet stream. Although the mixer typically has one outlet, an unlimited number of outlets are allowed. The arrow shown on the mixer points to the blue X or attachment location where the outlet stream or streams. The streams are adiabatically mixed to the lowest feed stream pressure. The outlet temperature is determined by an adiabatic flash with Q equals zero. The splitter block divides a single process stream into an unlimited number of outlet streams having the same composition, pressure, and temperature. Although the splitter typically has one inlet, an unlimited number of inlets are allowed. The arrow shown on the splitter indicates the direction in which the streams will be split. A mixer splitter combines an unlimited number of process streams and simultaneously splits the combined streams into an unlimited number of outlet streams having the same composition, pressure, and temperature. An adiabatic flash with Q equals zero determines the outlet temperature. Please note that in order to split a process stream on an individual component basis without maintaining the same composition in the outlet streams, the use of a divider block is required. The divider block will be explored in a later tutorial. In order to add one of the available mixer splitter blocks to a flow sheet, click on the desired block and drag it onto the flow sheet. Then, connect the desired inlet and outlet process streams to the block. To access the available specifications, open the block dialog by double clicking on the block in the flow sheet, or by double clicking on the appropriate mixer splitter in the navigation tree on the left side of the project viewer. Then, click on the process data tab to input specifications for the mixer splitters. Available specifications are pressure drop and the outlet splits. The pressure drop is set to zero by default. The outlet splits specify the fractions of the inlet stream or streams that exit in each outlet of the mixer splitters. If a mixer has only one outlet, the outlet split is 100% by default as seen here. There are three ways to make specifications in the process streams. One way is via the streams tab in the block dialog. Also, this can be accomplished by double-clicking on the stream in the navigation tree on the left side of the project viewer. Thirdly, specifications can be made directly from the flow sheet by double-clicking on the process stream itself. If a stream entering a mixer splitter is an inlet stream, it must be fully specified. For example, in this simple gas plant, two streams enter the mixer. One of these streams is an inlet stream and therefore must be fully specified. We will do so directly in the stream by providing the temperature, pressure, flow rate, and composition. The mixer has one outlet stream, therefore, by default, the outlet split is set to 100%. Please note that with a mixer, one cannot back calculate the pressure from an outlet stream. Here we have a splitter block with more than one outlet stream and a specified inlet stream. If an inlet feed rate will be known to Promax, then Promax must be able to calculate one of the outlet flow rates or splits. Therefore, one of the outlet streams must be left unspecified. There are two options for completing the required specifications for the splitter. The first option is to specify the outlet splits in the splitter block dialog by providing the desired stream outlet fractions for two of the three streams. Here, we will specify streams two and three and leave stream four unspecified. As you can see, Promax calculates the remaining fractional split for process stream 4. And here you can see Promax has calculated the flow rates in the outlet streams. The second option for completing the required specifications for the splitter is to provide the flow rates for two of the three outlet streams. 
Here, in the second splitter, the inlet process stream has a flow rate of 100 standard gallons per minute. We will specify the flow rates for process stream 6 and process stream 7. As you can see, Promax has calculated the flow rate in stream 8. It should be noted that there are certain cases where all outlet stream flow rates can be set by the user. This situation occurs when Promax is able to set the total unsplit stream flow rate such as seen here. If no flow rate is specified in stream 2, the makeup blowdown outlet, the flow rates for the splitter outlets, streams 8 and 9, can both be specified directly in the streams. Remember to always let us know how we can help you. Our support staff is available to assist you however they can at 1-979-776-5220 or support at bre.com.